All right, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers, back again. Last video, I talked about an overview of the project that uh, I was going to use Vue.js along with um, Auth0 to create an, uh, a small application with um, third-party single sign-on type integration. Um, in this video, I just want to quickly talk about what I'm hoping to achieve in the course of these videos. Um, so. First, my goal is to show how to set up a GitHub repository. And then I'm going to install NPM locally. I actually have it installed locally, but I'll show you how to do it. It's just going to a website. Installing Vue CLI 3 uh, and, and then creating your first project. That'll be a Vue project. Then to make it look nice and, and be easy to work with, we're going to add Vueify framework. I'll talk about that at that time. And then, uh, you know, we'll push that first project to the GitHub repository. This repository is going to be public, so you'll be able to follow along, pull and push with it. Uh, While well, you'll be able to pull, you won't be able to push. You'll be able to pull it, and you'll be able to even get the end result uh, if you want to use it for, for anything. Um, after we get that initial setup, we'll, we'll be, you know, we'll have a framework going. We'll create some pages and, um, you know, make some public pages, some private pages. The private pages obviously won't be protected yet. That's what we'll need to do with Auth0. So we'll, we'll protect those private pages using the uh, single page app um, integration type. And we'll talk about that on uh, Auth0's website and their instructions. We're going to use the universal login, which is um, uh, it's, it's a component where you redirect to their website as opposed to trying to embed their their lock login in your own website. And that will maybe talk about the ramifications of why we want to use that over integrating in order to keep the cookies from being a problem. Um, the um, cross-site scripting type stuff. And then finally, I am going to deviate from the Auth0 way of implementing their, um, their code in, in Vue. So they have a, a whole quick start guide on how to get up and running with Auth0 in Vue, but they really don't use Vue. Um, they kind of do their own thing and then slap it into to Vue. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to integrate it so it works with Vuex as a global management system, uh, you know, global um, uh, reactive uh, properties, so that when it changes, you know, you're not. They they do a lot of emitting stuff. They have you bring in an emitter when Vue Vue already has emissions, uh, but it also is reactive in the Vuex component. So uh, I'm just going to move their code over to, to the Vuex component and show how to do that. And then also we're going to do the, the, the protection in, in the, the routing layer in the Vue router. So I'll talk about that as it all comes. So uh, I'm definitely going to deviate from their quick start, which I didn't find to be extremely um, robust. So maybe at the end, then we'll talk about some, some security issues of um, uh, the way things are currently done on most projects um, and, and how to maybe protect yourself from that stuff. So again, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers. Uh, you can find us here at dedicatedmanagers.com uh, doing these videos, you know, as, as a little bit of promotion, a little bit of teaching, a little bit of practice talking. Um, but if you need any help, feel free to give us a, a, a call at, at dedicatedmanagers.com. Um, yeah, call us, call us at a website. Very good. Feel free to, to punch up our website, contact us at the phone number on the contact page or, or fill out a form. Again, this is our YouTube page. Please subscribe. Help us get that subscriber count up. Looking to um, um, throw a party when we hit 100 subscribers. So follow us on YouTube. That's it. Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers. We'll see you in the next video.